Look, man. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you, uh, let's spill the beans, Lena. This is cut some screenshots. I don't have time for it. So in any case, welcome back to Spill the Beans. A very random one. Because I I did ask you guys um, a question yesterday. And I said, were you ever unfaithful to your ex? And they never found out? DM me the T. Of course, it's anonymous. And you guys, without wasting any time, you just went in. So... <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so we're just gonna read it, right? Okay, cool stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna read as it is. God damn it. It's a long ass message. Jesus Christ. Okay. Anonymous Shatkara Ati. Hey, PD, keep me anonymous. As it should. So, um, in my past relationship, I was dating this gent. Let's call him Sipo. And his big brother told me that they love me. And I'm Jela. Uguti, I'm dating his brother, and then jiggy jiggy, this guy starts kissing me. I pushed away and told him to leave me alone. As time goes on, I get to see Sipo, and Sipo is a wild one. Then I decided to try it with his brother. Cool. I was dating both of them. Then the guy one day told me that Sipo is out of time, so I can come over. Apparently, Sipo has been noticing the relationship I had with the brother. Then he faked his outing to watch us. So I checked on his brother and we chilled for like two hours. And then Sipo returned home. And he found me inside the house. Then we broke up immediately and I continued dating Sipo. Well, Sipo almost did kind of find out. He almost like he was... (laughs) Sipo was out here being close to finding out. But then again, I guess you... I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about this one. But okay. We start. We move. Next. Hi, Prince. Please keep me anonymous. <laughs> Aye, bet. Alright. Second one. So, I was unfaithful to my partner, Guy Wanji. So, he left to go see his mother and he took very long to come back. Fast forward, I went out with a friend and I met a guy at Groove. First red flag. We talked for a long time, we exchanged numbers, and in a month's time, is coming to pay Lawala for me. My now ex-boyfriend never came back from his mom's. Ooh! <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> from Groove. Hey, I guess Groove ain't bad after all, man. Nah, shout outs to you, bro. <laughs> shout outs to you. No, I, I give you props. I'm not even going to say much. Damn it. I wonder if he watches my content. That would be that would be crazy. Alright, then next one. Don't know my sister. You, 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 you. Have you ever cheated on your partner or your ex partner and uh, they didn't know? Spill me the tea. Let's go. Hi PD. So I saw the latest spill the beans post and I got some confessions to do. <laughs> Please keep me anonymous though, as it should. So story begins i was deeply in love with this guy i mean head over heels in love with him but things happened when he started acting trash towards me i cheat on him with so many people and promise myself it's the last time because he's the love of my life lol anyways i ended up meeting this 39 year old that was madly in love with me and i was just there for the bag and mind you i'm still with this nick at that time i still had low-key feel he deserved it though i'd sleep with my side and him the next day and i had a huge crush on his cousin but i couldn't do anything because the whole mission exposed and crazy enough he never found out anything and he still thinks i'm innocent and sweet till this day (laughs) why you gotta bring the cousin into this there's already a 39 year old man man you know what hey you played your game you did your thing (laughs) <laughs> I ain't applauding, I ain't doing much. I'm just I'm just reading your story. Very interesting. What caught my attention a lot is that you said I cheat on him with so many people and promise myself it's the last time. How many times do you say that? How many times do you say this is the last time I do it? And then you find yourself doing it again. Crazy stuff. Great submission. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Keep him coming. Alright, let's move on. Spill the tea. Well, the beans, but 
let's spill the tea. I'm guessing you did spill the beans somehow. I had a crush on one of his best friends. Plus, he's a rugby player. Fire emoji. I was brave enough to tell him I like him. Lol, we decided to just have fun behind his back, which I enjoyed more than my ex. He found out and I asked him if he wants to know why I cheated. He said yes. Brother, brother. Wait a threesome. He's now bisexual. Wait a minute. What? Wait, wait. <laughs> How did you move from rugby player to being caught and now to... No, no. But you know what? Hey, man, I guess a win is a win. I guess it's a win is a win. You who's going to stop you when God gave you a soulmate? It's your soulmate, fam. <laughs> oh, gosh. I missed reading your stories, guys. I'm not going to lie. All right. Next one. Oh, gosh. It's a long one. All right. That's what she said. <laughs> PD, I hope you're good. Yo, on the topic of cheating and never got caught, please post me anonymously as it should. Yes, I am a pro on that department. Just that now I'm married to a very faithful man. Anyways, my previous is a serial cheat and we stayed together. Though he made sure that he cheats far from home. But Mina, the pro, made things happen. Well, men used to pick and drop me off by our gate. At times I'd ask him for a few toes to buy side gifts and sometimes ask for advices from him when the sides are sides and i had issues would pretend the advice is for my best friend how pella that man knows me i'm an angel and a whole saint i remember some year on my birthday i wanted to go spend the night with my side so i asked my friend to call me and ask me to come to celebrate my birthday with her your shampoo guy even transferred cash into my account the side came to fetch me by the gate i said it was my friend's boyfriend a range rover it was hi a lot happened shame right under his nose please don't forget anonymous well <laughs> gents i hope you are you are reading and listening here yeah i hope you are watching because <laughs> shit gets real in the streets bro mm, but it's better but i have a bitch when i was jello when i was pal la bitch la jello still i said it's not me god damn it can take me out of the ghetto but you can't take the ghetto out of me please keep me anonymous okay as it should i was a good girl to my then boyfriend until i found out he was cheating it was like he unleashed the beast in me i had a threesome with two of his friends in his house on his bed while he passed out drunk on the couch one of his friends felt bad and told him after a while he didn't believe him I then went after his handsome brother. We did the deed. Now I want to do a threesome with one of his friends and the girl he cheated on me with. This is the shortest, most packed DM I've ever gotten in my life. There is a lot of numbers here. I see two threes, I see two twos and a one. Like, yo. Guys, <laughs> are we okay? <laughs> Yo, 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 yo. Ah, this bruise, ah, this bruise tie. It's tie for him. Ah, it's tie for him. All right, let's move on. <laughs> ah, 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 don't say that. Busy here. Okay. Yes, I was unfaithful. I dated seven guys, ne? I'm not even sure. It's seven. I think more than that. And after that, I lied to him by saying my friends wanted me to date a guy. And I almost did that. After I cried telling him I feel bad and he was like, no baby, it's okay. I understand. He even went to say, baby, do you know how much I trust you? And I was like, damn, I feel bad for this nigga. Yo, I your feels. I, uh, your gents think, you, your gents thought you were dribbling girls. Hands are dribbling your own. They're dribbling your and <laughs> they can do about it. Uh, it's the truth. It's the truth. All right then. Someone says, Back when I was in university, I was told my sweetheart that I went home. Let me read that again. Back when I was in varsity, I was told my sweetheart that I went home. Or oh, you told your sweetheart you went home. At that time, I was sleeping at another hand's place 
and would sometimes see my babe walk to the shop while I'm Netflixing and chilling with this hun. It was painful, but I had to get it done with the hun. She was hot. Vasiti Chronicles. Hmm? Spill the beans. Let's go. Sure, PD. XC. I dated this person during the uni days. Another university confession. We met at a bash. A bash? We met at a bash, hit it off, and the situation developed that night. A week or two later, I get a call from the actual person that we're dating. Apparently, I was aside. They broke up and I was promoted to the main. During the holidays that year, five to six months into the relationship, I went to visit family in Cape Town. One night, I met someone and instantly hit it off. Me and the new person continued chatting and calling after the holidays. One night, my main was staying over and a call came through. He answered and I heard, and all I heard was F and U's being shouted. I knew I was busted and came out clean. For some reason, I felt guilty for being caught because I low-key felt karma was using me to deal with what he had done to the previous main. Hmm. A very packed story, my brother. But then again, like I said, no one can stop you from finding your soulmates. <laughs> That's crazy. I, 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 I come back. Oh, you submitted before. Okay, but let's read what you have to say today, to be honest. Okay, spill the beans. Um, wait. There was a party at my boyfriend's place, so he invited me. I mean, also, he's a boyfriend. Why wouldn't you be there? Only to finish... Only to finish that he also invited my crush. Only to find out. English, also. Only to find out that he also invited my crush, who happened to be his best friend. We all got drunk. Everyone came with their girlfriends. My crush asked for a bathroom. After two minutes, I also went to the bathroom. He didn't know I was crushing on him. When I get by the door, I took off my jean and panty. He was shocked. He closed his eyes, but I went straight to him. I kissed him. In two seconds, he was up. Something that we did in that bathroom, he still wants it till today. One thing I can tell you, yeah? gents, your bruise, your bruise are most likely to tell you, matey, bro. I promise you, it's when you least expect it. So just keep your eyes on the watch. It's your bruise. That's why I mean, I always say, your bruise cannot have your hand's number. It's just I just find it so weird because you are opening a door to a different world and you know what I'm saying. So yeah. Hey man. <laughs> hey, what can I say, bro? <laughs> what can I say? You got yours, miss. Take off your jeans. I right, cool. Shall we move on? Cool. Yo, what's cooking? Keep me anonymous as it should. I once dated this gent who was a drug dealer. Ne? He's a bit of a big deal this side. Anyway, we date. Guy was paying for my flat, buying me food, clothes everything bro crying emoji so sometimes before lockdown he went to josie and got trapped there and i met a dude shortly after malls were open we hung out and eventually dated i saw a world of this man from the get-go and we ended up smashing this weekend i'm over at second guy's place the drug dealer calls me says he's back and wants to see me i obviously go around the bushes and he says he's gonna hang out with one of his friends crib for a few drinks until I decide when I'm going to see him. Ngilele. Hi. Ngilele elo tlaesha mtagabao. I have a joint in my hand and both my boyfriends walked in. Turns out, new guy was a drug dealer's runner and me and the runner just never met each other. Anyway, I got an ass whooping and never dated unlawful men ever again. <laughs> I, you had it coming also. <laughs> no pun intended. Hi PD, I hope you are well. Regarding the topic today, I'm currently unfaithful with my partner. Kula weekend in Jese, si Pumaguyo, I made up with an ex and went to see my boyfriend the day after. Ukel is still stuck with ex, Lapo, now it's affecting my current relationship. Well, I ah, know, beans were spilt. Uh, very interesting. I don't know what's the reason why I like reading your stories, 
but it just can it just kind of like puts me in touch with reality which isn't as good as in zagal and um wherever you're watching thank you for the submissions um yeah let me know if you need more to be quite honest i i would read these stories forever to be honest and uh there's only two gents whom i read their stories on this video today anyway please don't forget to share leave a comment like tag a friend let's enjoy some tea together it's been a boy pity jokes my check one two one two hey eh? can johnny bro <laughs>